Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe early ideas of the structure of atoms. You should then be able to describe the alpha scattering experiment which was used to work out the nuclear model of atomic structure. And finally you should be able to describe the discovery of electron energy levels, the proton and the neutron. Now thousands of years ago the ancient Greeks believed that everything's made of atoms. They thought that atoms are tiny spheres that can't be divided. That idea was accepted for hundreds of years. However, in 1897, scientists discovered that atoms contained tiny negative particles. They called these electrons. Now, this was a really big discovery because it showed that atoms are not tiny spheres that cannot be divided. Atoms must have an internal structure. So scientists now suggested a different model for the structure of atoms, and they called this the plum pudding model. The plum pudding model suggested that an atom is a ball of positive charge with negative electrons embedded in it. So I'm showing you the plum pudding model here. You can see that we've got a ball of positive charge and embedded in it we've got negative electrons. Now scientists wanted to know if the plum pudding model was correct and to find this out they carried out an experiment. We call this the alpha scattering experiment and you need to be able to describe it. First the scientists took a piece of gold foil just like this one here. The reason that they used gold is that we can hammer gold out into very thin foil, just a few atoms thick. They then fired tiny particles at the gold foil. We call these alpha particles, and you'll find out more about these in later videos. Alpha particles have a positive charge. The first thing they saw was that most of the alpha particles passed straight through the gold foil without changing direction. Sometimes an alpha particle was deflected. In other words, it changed direction as it passed through the gold foil, like this. And sometimes an alpha particle simply bounced straight back off the gold foil. So let's look at what scientists worked out from these results. The fact that most of the alpha particles went straight through the gold foil told the scientists that atoms are mainly empty space. This meant that the plum pudding model had to be wrong. Secondly, because some of the alpha particles were deflected, this told the scientists that the centre of the atom must have a positive charge and that repelled the alpha particles. And finally, because some alpha particles bounce straight back, this told the scientists that the mass of the atom must be concentrated in the centre. We now call the central part of an atom the nucleus. When an alpha particle collides directly with the nucleus, it simply bounces back in the original direction. So from these results, scientists replaced the plum pudding model with the nuclear model, and I'm showing you that here. So most of the atoms simply empty space. In the centre, we've got a tiny positive nucleus containing almost all of the mass, and around the edge, we've got negative electrons. Now the scientist Niels Bohr proposed that electrons orbit the nucleus at specific distances, rather than just in a general area. Bohr's proposal was accepted because it agreed with the results of experiments by other scientists. We now call these orbits energy levels or shells. So here's the updated nuclear model with the electrons in energy levels. Several years later scientists found that the positive charge in the nucleus is due to positive particles, which they called protons. And around 20 years after the nuclear model was first proposed, the scientist James Chadwick discovered that the nucleus also contains neutrons, and neutrons have got no charge, they're neutral. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on this topic in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Ok, so hopefully now you should be able to describe early ideas of the structure of atoms. You should then be able to describe the alpha scattering experiment, which was used to work out the nuclear model of atomic structure. And finally, you should be able to describe the discovery of electron energy levels, the proton and the neutron.